Ma'am, our beloved Ma'am, Imam Wadisuddin Muhammad, and uh, I can say without reservation, I'm thankful for being in service to Imam Wadisuddin Muhammad II. He not, he, Imam Wadisuddin Muhammad never asked me to support him. He never did. I told when they went. Uh, you, you, I, should, I, you shouldn't have to ask family, right? That's right, but you know what I said? I say, brother, he may I told him to say it, because I already had from him ma'am anyway. I said, brother, I'm with you. I ain't expecting that much. And I told all them brothers across the country that I've known, I say, you pitiful for not accepting and supporting this leadership here of Wallace Dean Muhammad II. The mosque is. The mosque is the nucleus. I don't care where they go. They, they ain't going to have nothing. Uh, this is the nucleus, the mosque is. The ma'am say this ministry here, W D, uh, the mosque here. He said it should be a message to the whole country, all all these is Islamic organizations. You know what I'm saying? What what I'm teaching here, the ministry of Islam. He said they should follow what I'm doing. The mosque is. You understand? You know, and 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 uh, 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 the ministry of Islam. What I'm saying, this is just national headquarters. His son is the president of the mosque here. And not all them so-called leaders that think they know so they don't know. A lot of them is just sick, brother. Arrogance. They sick as hell. You know, and I'll tell you something about me, too. I know most of them. I, don't, I know them. Been known for many years. I've been 52 years in this community. 52 years. I'm 70 years old now. Long as I do. Allah, I mean, what I'm saying I ain't looking for no try. I know but B man he let me he the man Rasu, he's a martial arts expert. <laughs> but boy, I tell you, boy, up in New York, but we had FOIs there, fruits they have on that Chinese guard and have these slippers on me marching in there, get about twelve or twelve deep. And they they didn't wait on Joe. Uh, Master Moses and all that. We had some of the best. From Brooklyn, New York. And most of the brothers there, if you travel the country, they come out of New York. We used to say seven is the only thing to go with two and make nine. And we used to come out here for our Savior's Day, brother, at the Coliseum and the Army. They say seven, Captain Jack. Seven, ball out. New York will fall out. Twenty-seven, last night, they come out next with Ali Rashid. And then you always had, of course, you always had that clout from Detroit. I mean, they, they always was in there, number one. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But uh, see, I, I, I knew uh, the Supreme Captain, Raymond Sharif. I knew Captain Elijah Muhammad II knew him pretty good. You understand? I, I know Nathan Daniel. I know Emmanuel. And there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of wackos. You understand? But see, right now, brother, we blessed to have Imam Walter D. Muhammad II here with us. And we have our guest here from New Orleans, brother. Hey, man, we love you. You understand? We want to embrace you more. Love you too, sir. I, I, I do. I, I mean that from my heart I see, I because see. I'm used to that brotherhood and sisterhood. See, some change. Some came over the community. A virus came on. It's a poison. Somebody dropped some poison on us, and we lost our spirit, our love, and closeness that we had. I know about that. I don't have to have nobody teach me, but I know about it. I lived it. You understand? So I mean, I, I can jam it down counterfeit real quick. That's right. You know, they say if you look at a, if you look at a, the FBI. By the way, I studied the sociology of the military too when I was at Roosevelt. The sociology of the military, 400 level class. I'm not talking about the, talking about when you go for your masters, and they but three authorities on that subject in the world. And this this professor I had, he was from Greek, sociology of the military, and. Uh, he said they trained their officers. Most of the officers the United States military had, they were from the South. And they were blue-eyed, blind-eared men. This is in your research, but this is the authority say on this. They, they picked the, 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 the sides already, they wanted to be over the army officers from uh, the Southern states. And they would be blue-eyed and blind-eared. And uh, they, uh, this is that psychological thing, that racism, that white supremacy. You understand? That's that's where they pick, and this is real research. And they but three authorities on that subject, and they said they picked them, and they have them over the blacks over there. 
And when we was over in the Army military, we got Brother, Brother Benji, he been over there. He been over in the military. And they tell, tell the people over there in France and stuff that, that we had tills and stuff like that, yeah. I had, I had a, 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 a grand uncle, he used to tell me, when he was over there way back there, well, they had tears, they, 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 they thought we had tears when he was in France, different places. And plus I had uh, four brothers. So I come from a family of eight brothers and six sisters. I'm, I'm son number four. But see, I'm the first one to come in Islam. My older brother, my oldest brother, he's passed now, Alexander, he was a staff sergeant in the, in the military, but he was one of them players. See? Just gambled and hunted. He was a staff sergeant or a recruiter. And, uh, you know, so uh, I had tools in the Air Force and uh, tools in the Army. And, uh, but uh, on that sociology of the military, man, they, they, they had the officers, they were sent them to West Point. That's where they would train them at. But in their uh, the orientation, uh, they, they picked officers from the South, blind hair and blue eyes. This is in their research. And uh, they, 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 they was, they'd be over you. And you know they had all that separation in the military. And they talk about the military, this military, that. I had, I had plenty of military right in the FOI. I had plenty of military training. You know what I mean? And, and, I, and I'm thankful for it. And, and I, don't, I don't turn my back on it and everything. And I was a fool of this now. And not, not one that's going to be picked either. You know what I'm saying? They say they're going to take a fruit. They ain't going to prick me, not this one here. Brady, I mean, I'm sure you man Ross Lewis they feel the same way the other brothers here. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm thankful when I'm talking to the brothers and sisters. But see, what we need, just like when we start dealing with the folklore people, these man say, love you one another. Don't be so damn jealous of each other. Envy and jealousy. You know, in, 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 in our old lesson, it say, take four devil heads. It say you 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 get a pin to wear another part of your apparel if you would present four devil heads. And we used to literally think that meant going out head hunting, killing some cockades, whatever. But see, the man, the man came and broke that down. He said, "What the four devil heads are? Envy, jealousy, proudness, laziness. That's them four devil heads. And all that self hatred. You understand? That's that's what people say." Hey, Envy, jealousy, proudness, and laziness. We had more love in the in the uh, in Saviour's day in the, in, the, in the nation of Islam that we, we that it's gonna come again. The man said he see it coming again, it's coming back, and we blessed to have Imam Wallace and his wonderful wife Robin. They soldiers. They dedicated. We gotta support them. That's right. I'm serious, brother. We gotta support them. You know, I'm very proud of them. The man walked in Muhammad, his wife, Sister Robin, I'm very proud of them. They're constantly dedicated. Yeah, so we thank a lot for good people that we got. Like Brother Hill, the Imam, uh, uh, Imam, uh, <laughs> I'm getting my brother Imam's name. <laughs> Rasul. Rasul. Imam Rasul and Imam, other Imam too. Imam Anthony. Imam Anthony. And the sister here. We thankful for sisters like see I done been around real believers. I done been around. I done served people in the, in in that house down there, master house. You know the man one day he said we're gonna have a dinner here one night. This is the palace, and he invited all the dial workers to come to have dinner with him in the national house. How I know? Cause I'm there serving. <laughs> yeah. And he told me he said don't let none of them get in here at the six o'clock. And sister Shirley coming from they came with the oil. Sister Shirley let them in. I let them in. When he made him come back, he said, I thought I told you six. But <laughs> 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 yeah, this is a strategy. I didn't want to just, I didn't want to, yeah, uh, uh, have no problem with that. But he told me, I thought I told you six. Said, yes, sir, buddy, man. <laughs> yes, sir, I, you got to hear and obey. And then that's what I'm saying. And he made him while he's here, he, that, that's the leader now, brother. That's the leader among us. And we, we support him, brother. Give my life, uh, my prayer, my sacrifice, my life and my death all for Allah. You understand? So, I mean, I'm just saying, we blessed, we unique, we unique people, new people. And Imam Muhammad, he's the one that revived this religion and made it a household name. His grandfather, Muhammad, he did that. Nobody else did it. 
I don't care what no immigrant from wherever he come from, from Mecca, from Sudan. When we went to Mecca over there, it was over there on Hajj, and uh, we was in, we had we had they they had the red carpet out for us because we with the email. And uh, this brother said, "Why?" One he said, "Why?" And some 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 scholar from Sudan so "Why you call yourself the Latin? You're gonna have the you're gonna be teaching one of the Caucasian." So why call yourself be Latin? I told him, ma'am, what he said. I told him what he said, what I heard. He ma'am said, don't even pay no attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> don't even pay no attention to it. You understand? So, see, 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 our people need, the ma'am, I have been in that mosque on Stony Island. I'm not gonna do it, like what the ma'am did, because he told us about it. I have been there on Stony Island where the ma'am taught from my grid prayer to fashion. I've been there with him all night and then go to sleep. And he broke down many things there. That's when he broke down some of them names. He said he had his Arabic dictionary. He said, I, I didn't give it. I, I, I didn't give the minister the name of the Farah Khan. He said, I gave him the name Abdul Halim. He said, my father gave him the name Farah Khan. And then he said, and the father, he said, he couldn't find it in the Quran. And it represents mouse or rat, of one who smiles and gleams. And the Arab Elijah Muhammad, even before, uh, minister, he, he say, Arab Elijah Muhammad, Chase Jabaz told me this. He said, Arab Elijah Muhammad, he said, where's Brother Faraway? <laughs> That's what he's been saying about, where's Brother Faraway? Wow. You know, he, he, he far away. He, he, the father means mouse or rat. And Khan means ruler. He means the ruler. It also means gleam and gle glitter. Gleam and glitter. You understand? It means that. So, praise be to Allah. You know, uh, the sharing, you, you had mosque here, sister, brothers and sisters. So I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, I pray Allah that uh, you take the message with you and, uh, you know, you uh, uh, take it back with you and live it. And you, you know, I, heard, I heard the brother talking about some books. I'm going to tell you a book that you should get. It's right out there on the desk. In that book, the story of Joseph. Hatch. Right out there. God, he may God. Pick up some of them books and take with you. Support W.D. Muhammad Publications. What are you saying? Are you saying something? No. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were doing like that. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. I was, I was doing Juma last Friday here. When, when you all were in New Orleans, I did Juma here. And we, we had a, by the way, we had a wonderful time here, brother, man. We had, we had a nice little spirit of food in the spirit of Savior's Day. That's what we, we was in it here, brother. And uh, uh, he was trying to share it on. And, uh, you know, as far as thou were March 4th with thou were, this is March 4th. It is March 4th. And we're going to March 4th with thou were. And thou were means continuous calling. The brother sitting down here with his young family there, he used to do down with us in Harvey. That brother been out there with me with the papers all in, the, in that community. I know a lot of brothers. I'm not no square, brother. I know what's happening out in the street. Yeah. No. And uh, I'm, I'm just saying, uh, I, I'm glad to see you here, brother. And we're going to be about that, that business, too. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. Talking about dollar, right? See, that's, that's what you're talking about. Just like that. And, that's, and to keep it real. And the young ones, when they hear the truth, when it's presented to them, the young kids, you know they feel it in their bones. And they react to it. Just like you said, the sister down there, what she's doing, they came out of prison. See, when you when you got this truth that we got from Imam Warathi Muhammad, and you're not afraid to go out there, Imam Charles, in the back, Imam Charles, for 80 years, he, he goes out and do Dow almost every Saturday. And the dollar coordinator from there, Gary, he's back there with it now. We getting ready to do some dial. We're gonna do offensive. I talked with him, um, Alfred yesterday. He called me. We talked, and he we getting ready to have the the the, the uh, convention in uh, New Jersey. And I talked. He said, "Brother," he said, "We bring some brothers up here. Maybe a week before we had a convention. We're gonna go dial that town down. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna encourage you to get involved." But see, brother, I'll tell you another thing about me. 
I bring guests here, brother. I got one with me right here right now. That's my friend Max. That's one of my neighbors. His name is Max Evans, too. I said, you might be related to Sister Clara. He's a soldier. He's in the Air Force. And I, and, 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 and I bring people here. I bring, I bring a guest Bring a guest with you. That's what I'm telling some of you all. Don't just come by yourself. Bring somebody with you. Don't be scared to invite them. 